Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Serenity Cards and Coaching. My name is Leela Meinke. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You can find me at leelamikey.com. I'm going to go over three simple and really beautiful and impactful cards today. Uh, if you, so there's a few things. If you want to buy this kit, you can buy this kit in the month of October. If you want to get this kit free, you can get this kit free in the month of October by making a purchase with me. And other than that, this class is just for fun and for free. And I'm going to show you how to make these three different cards. So here's the kit package. Um, yours would be sealed up and packaged nicely. But in the kit, you get two of each card. And we're only going to make one of each card today. And we will start with, I don't know the order, but I think we're going to start with, no, we're going to start with this guy. He's on top. So, um, Cindy, I know that you're making this along with me. So do you have all your ingredients ready? I think you said you did. And I don't see you there, but if you, um, I'll take a minute to kind of get all the ingredients out and explain them. And then I think we'll be able to stamp along together. So, um, in your kit, or if you're making this, you take a piece of thick white cardstock base that's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I use the thick white for bases. I just got this question the other day. So um, I use the thick white for a base. And then if I'm adding layers, I use the thin white. It's not, I mean, in my mind, there's thick or thin, but um, it's it's actually just basic white and basic white thick. So I use the basic white for this layer. It is a little thinner and it stamps a little differently. I also use regular basic white if I'm gonna do a template and that's exactly what we're gonna do to get that circle right there. You are not gonna believe, you can't believe the impact you can get with just such a simple activity. So, um, and then we're gonna do the envelope today too. So you, and all my kits come with liners, come with envelopes. Luxurious, I love our envelopes. They're just silky and soft and sexy. So we've got our basic white thick. We've got our pool party. This pool party then is gonna be a quarter of an inch in. That's four by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna, um, cause I'm one to lose ingredients. I'm just gonna put this here and get it on and get it lined up. That looks pretty good considering I'm putting it on 10 miles away from myself and very good I'm just getting that good and lined up so that I'm not going to lose that I'm going to put that off to the side and now I'm going to go ahead and get to the starting of the circle so this is stylish shapes and this circle is of the size it's about two and a half and this paper then is another quarter inch in from the pool party so it would be three and three quarter by five and that's the size of the template as well and uh, we are going to use i'll bring my stamps over and i'll bring my colors over now i'm one to just grab colors and use them i'm pretty sure that i just have pool party the pdf i think mentions calypso coral as well but I think I just have pool party. You're, of course, going to do colors that you have and colors that you like. So maybe you like one look a little differently than another. And then for my blending brushes, I'm using the large blending brush. And I have, like, I'll use this for all my browns, basically. I'll use this, I don't know, my teals, basically, my Lost Lagoon, Peacock, pool party, etc. So I've got my two blending brushes. I've got my stamps and these are the three that we're going to use. I know you can't really see them very well, but let me show you. Um, it's the Oceanfront stamp set. I put them over here. I'm so excited to use this Oceanfront stamp set. I got this as a gift from Doris, my sister Doris, and um, haven't been able to use it as much as I like, but I love the ocean. So we're going to use a couple of these silhouette images, and those are some little pebbles. We're going to use those today. So let's go ahead. Oh, good. Linda's here. Linda's getting this kit too. All right. So I've got my template, which you get in your kit. I've got my um, sheet cut to three and three quarter by five, and I'm going to start. It doesn't matter. You can start with a pool party, or you can start with a... Um, 
the uh, crumb cake. Linda, I was saying the PDF might also mention Coastal Cabana, but on second thought, I don't know that I used it. So we're just gonna do pool party. So I've got my brush and this is what I do, you guys. I take the brush and I put it in my ink and then I'm gonna kinda like brush it off, if you will. You know how we stamp off sometimes, we'll get a second generation stamp. Now you can see there's not a lot coming. It might be time to be re-inking my, um, my ink pad, but um, nonetheless, there's enough there. I know, frankly, I could have just used the brush, I'm pretty sure. So I got it wiped off just to get any extra ink there. Then I'm gonna come in from the side and I'm really just kind of gonna go back and forth. Oh my goodness, yeah. My ink pad needs more ink. I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth like this. I'm holding it very securely, and I'm not going to lift it, by the way, between ink pads. In the PDF, I tell you to open both your ink pads at the same time. Of course, I didn't do that, so we're going to have some nimbleness. But I'm just going over and over and over again. Um, you might lift it occasionally to just see, you know, do you like what's happening there? And that feels like it needs a little more color to me. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to come in um, and just get a good sky going. I love, love, love this look. I've done this look also um, in like a balmy blue with, okay, now here's the awkward part. I'm still holding because I don't want to move my circle. Do what I say, not what I do when I say open both ink pads at the same time. Oh my goodness. Oh, Cindy, I hope I didn't jam you up by that. Well, you know what? I'm not going to be able to. So. Leela, it's okay. I taped mine down, so I'm good. Yeah. So, and luckily, like, I had I had it all nice and square. So when I go like that, it's going to be perfect anyway. So, um, and if it's not, you guys, it's just paper. Just cut another little piece. Um, but I look like I've got it lined up there. So now I'm going to get my next brush. And this is the crumb cake. And I am brushing it off. And you can see that is a little darker. I don't want this too dark. So I'm just going to come in. And I'm going to do it where I've got overlap. So I don't mind at all that, that there's a little bit of overlap between the ocean and the sand. Or maybe that's the sky and the sand. Whatever you're thinking it is. I don't mind if there's overlap at all. So I feel like those are both kind of the same tone. There's not one that's too much darker or too much lighter than the other. That feels really good. Let's see if I got, um, if I kept the circle intact. And I did, so that's fantastic. You can use this template over and over and over again. So if, for instance, I had messed that up, frankly, I would just turn it over. I would make sure I had both of my ink pads open and I would hold very securely and I would do it then. But thank goodness, because I had the papers cut and I just kind of squared it up before I did it, I was able to have the template stay perfect. So I'm grateful for that. So I'm gonna put my little brushes away. Now you get two cards in the kit if you're doing the kit. And so since you have everything out, you might just take the second one out and do it. Um, so now I'm gonna close up my pool party because I'm all done with that. And again, we didn't use the Coastal Cabinia. So I close that up and here's what I will say. I used crumb cake for the sand. I'm gonna close up my crumb cake for now because I wanted the pecan pie for the sentiment because I think really think that that pops a lot more. So I'm gonna use pecan pie. Oh my gosh, I love this color. Oh my gosh, I love this color. I've been using it for gingerbread. Do I have gingy right here? Oh my gosh, I don't. He looks so cute with pecan pie. Love I love that color too. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks for commenting, Linda. I'm so glad you guys are here. All right, so now you can see here, I kind of tried to stay on this horizon line. I did do some, I made up about, I love this. I made up about 10 of these, so I just have them sitting over there. So whenever like someone's in my heart, I can just go quickly write their address and get this out. So I made up about 10 of them, but I noticed as time was going on, I kept getting my um, my line a little bit lower and lower and lower. I really think it's most attractive when it's kind of right at the base of the sand, just to let you know for placement. But if it went lower, it'd be fine. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get that inked up. I start with the larger one first. Now, I don't have my 
stamp and pierce mat underneath and it seems that that's not going to be a problem but when i'm using photopolymer which is the clear stamps i do like to have my stamp and pierce mat underneath but it seems to not be a problem at all so that's perfect um that's perfect here's the part that's a little um i think gonna take you're gonna have to figure out how you're most comfortable doing sentiments so before I show you the sentiment being stamped, I want to show you this stamp set. I love this stamp set. So I told you I made up about 10 of these. You're in my heart and prayers. Today I'm making hope you're feeling better soon because my heart hurts. My very dear friend just learned she got COVID. And so um, I'm going to send her I hope you're feeling better soon. And either one of those, I think, are just a nice size that fit right there. You could do so thankful for you. You could do your kindness as much appreciated. I think some of these longer ones are better maybe on the inside. Hope your day is a happy one. I mean, maybe, right, for a masculine birthday card. Um, I just noticed this. I, I, We don't normally get those long guys. I'm gonna use that for something. You could use just for you. So I'm actually doing, um, hope you're feeling better soon. And he's brand, brand new to me. I have not used this guy yet. So I'm going to make sure I've got him placed as straight as I can. And what does that mean? I'm going to look at the hope. See, this is red rubber, so I can't see um, I can't see it when I place it for photopolymer. So I'm, I'm going to make sure the top is kind of in alignment there. I'm also going to practice it. And that's what I one thing I love with my grid sheet. I'm going to practice it and I'm going to eyeball it with um, the top of the sentiment being straight. And let's see how straight it is. You know what that's pretty darn good so um so if you're using an eyeball method that's going to work pretty good so i'm going to do that i'm going to kind of line it up with the top of my paper i feel like i can place it right there that's going to be a good and fingers crossed that it's going to be straight you know what i'm good with that it's a teeny tiny little bit crooked but i'm good with that um so that's one way to do it. You can eyeball it. You can do the try, 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 try again method, or you can get a stamp on the jig or um, a, a, a stamping. There's stamp placement tools. If you have questions how to do it, there are things on the market. Unfortunately, we don't have something right now. There's a couple different methods. Um, so you and those of you that have been stamping for a while probably have your own methods for doing it but if you have questions i'm happy to kind of take those offline with you i would love or if you have them here feel free to ask um sadly we're not selling one right now but that looks pretty good anyway just kind of doing the eyeball view so you guys that's this card that's how simple it is and i just sat down and did i told you i did like nine or ten of them all at once it was so felt so good to have like a nice stash right so then i'm using glue and i'm just going to get my final piece layered because the ink is probably still a little bit wet i'm actually not going to go like that i'm just going to kind of go all the way around making sure my hands are clean because it's white paper and i'm one to get ink all over my hands but not today you guys that's it so i can put a little something something inside which i'm going to and then guess what? This uses uh, affordable postage, right? So this is, I'm one to use a lot of bulk, which I love and which I will still do. This is a great card to use, just a forever stamp. So I've got my two ink colors. I know this is crumb cake and pecan pie. So I'm gonna do some little sand or gravel and a little bit of crumb cake right here. And then I'm gonna do, you know, just a little, I guess I'll do the, no, I'll do the little see we get to make choices i'm just gonna do just a little bit of grass right there and um that's just my little touch for the inside that's that guy i hope you're feeling better soon then i'm gonna do the envelope um and i've got a little bit more room on the envelope so i'm gonna take my crumb cake and my sand and i'm just gonna do a couple little stampings of it i'm gonna take my large silhouette you i mean i was just talking to somebody about this the other day you know when you go to the post office i mean when you go to your mailbox and you open your mailbox and there's a handmade card in there like you can just tell you can tell the thickness you can tell the feeling of it um you can tell the envelope and then you further know when the envelope's decorated you're like oh my goodness i'm opening this one first these bills can wait but i'm opening this one first so um 
this just makes an extra little guarantee that they know it's handmade and so you guys that's our sweet card that would i think maybe it took 10 minutes so that's our sweet card and just who wouldn't want to receive that just little note it's beautiful so there you have it there you have it and that was inspired by sister doris um made a card with a heron one time the bird the heron um card oh my gosh it was beautiful so that's card one and now we're gonna go to the next one in the packet and see i still have another one i'll just take some time after and make it up here oh i know someone's coming to class i'll make it with her tomorrow and now i'm gonna move to the next card which is the i'm thankful now here's the amazing thing if you get the kit if you get the kit you get all the ingredients you simply stamp the i'm thankful or whatever sentiment in whatever color you have, I'm going to do it in Pretty Peacock. You stamp a little leaf on the inside and perfect, right? If you don't have the kit, let's say you just bought the ingredients and some of you did get this um, All About Autumn bundle and you, um, some of you got the embossing folder. Like that was the number one seller on Monday actually when free shipping was announced. That was the number one seller was All About Autumn stuff. So. Um, you can very simply, super simple Simon, die cut this, um, honestly out of any designer series paper, but that's the oxidized copper designer series paper. This is a pretty peacock leaf vein, and I'll show you kind of a quick tip for um, gluing that with a little less mess. So there's that guy. Here's our stitch circle, love these guys. That's our, um, 3D embossed, distressed tile, I think. And it is distressed. You know, I, my Santa's helper was here the other day. She was doing some of the rolling and she's like, wait, am I making a mistake? No, it's distressed tile. So some of it is bumpy and some of it is a little more distressed and faded. So, um, and that, oh gosh, three and three quarter by four. And, okay, this is three and a quarter by four and a half and then the pretty peacock is just the next size up so again let's get our things glued so that i'm not losing them and pick your favorite side i feel like um there is a right and a wrong side to this so pick your favorite side whatever looks right and wrong to you now i didn't do it here but on other cards i've taken this tile and i've kind of taken a dauber or a blending brush and given it a bit of a distressed um you know, I've, I've taken a blending brush with some, you know, brown ink and I've kind of rubbed it so it looks a little shabby shake. I've taken scissors and run it along the side, but we're not going to do that here. We're just going to keep kind of as crisp and clean as we can. Leela, are we going to get a, in, are we going to get a um, leaf in the... You get the leaf, yep. you get the vein, you get two, well, two cards, two leaves, two veins, two circles, two emboss. Yep, you get it nice. all. Okay. And copper. Yeah. And two sentiments. Yep. Get it all. Cool. They're already done. They're already done. Nice. All already done. I'm so grateful. I'm starting to get a little ahead of the curve. You guys know I was down for a little bit, but now I'm back and I'm back with passion and energy and a helper. I had a Santa's helper. That is true. <laughs> Okay, so those are all like one layer. Those are all glued, one layer. Um, I might have given you white on the inside. Here I've done very vanilla. So the kit, you've got white. You can do either. I'm gonna get that glued so I don't lose that ingredient either. Um, you can, if if you prefer vanilla, you can swap it out. Or I, the nice thing about these, it just goes with any color, I think. So there's, there's your basic white. We'll get that stamped up in a second. I might could have stamped it first, but let me just not lose anything. I'm one for losing things, right? So, okay. And then now I put the um, circle on with dimensionals. Okay, here's the method to my madness. These are all my dimensional sheets that um, sometimes I just sit and I cut them all up and then I have a big stack of them and I use like the extras because precious cargo, right? It's good stuff. So anyway, I keep them right here. So I'm using my Stampin' Dimensionals and I'll get these, this on the front. 
and then I'll show you my little trick for my leaf. So, um, yes, you do in the kit. Now, if you wanted to do this at home, and I come down, I don't know, about an inch, and I'm centered. If you wanted to do this at home, and maybe you didn't have exactly these leaves, you could absolutely use so many different leaves with this, right, if you were going to repeat it at home. Okay, so we've got that. Now let me show you how to adhere this guy onto this guy. By the way, this was a swap card that I received, and I sure wish I remember who did it. I did not make note of it, but um, one reason I kind of put my heart and soul into doing some really good swaps is because I get some good swaps in return. And so thank you to the person who made this. So what am I doing? This is a silicon mat, and this silicon mat um, is great. I can put all different kinds of I don't know mixed media kind of things on it and so what I'm doing here is um, I'm taking a moment to get my adhesive just on the vein and um, I think this is going to give me a little more control and it's not going to have stuff oozing out as much so I'm just and I don't need every single stitch covered you can see that um, there's kind of just a light application but I don't need it everywhere. Like this leaf isn't going anywhere, right? I mean, this vein isn't going anywhere. So then I'm going to get it right in the middle. And then you can see by doing that, I'm not having anything ooze out. Now, let's say I did. Let's say I didn't have a silicon mat. Let's say I put glue on the back and let's say it oozed out. Well, then I would take my um, baby wipe or some kind of wet paper towel or something and I would just kind of dab and as long as there's no ink it's fine it's not going to smear you don't want to like rub it but you could do some light touches but um this is so intricate and so delicate that I uh I didn't want to have to fuss with all of that I didn't want to mess the pretty oxidized paper so now I'm checking so whereas that last card didn't have a whole lot of dimension this has dimensionals on top of dimensionals so I'm just going to go ahead and get my leaf dimensional and the sequence matters for this because the sentiment um, kind of hides the stem of the leaf and I really like that effect actually so I'm going to go ahead and put this on and it fits just perfectly like that so I'm going to go like that and then I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm going to do the I'm thankful. It fit perfectly and I am thankful. You know what? I'm thankful. I have started a 30 days of gratitude group. And if you haven't heard, some of you guys are in it and that's awesome. If you haven't heard about it, you're more than welcome to join. Just ask me about it or search for 30 days of gratitude on Facebook. We are writing every single day about a different topic. So today my topic was movies and I picked um, Alice in Wonderland because I love Alice in Wonderland. But um, oh my gosh, I have to tell you, it's so energizing to write about gratitude every day. I'm using, I'll just show you, I'll just take a little detour. I'm using this journal, which by the way, I do still have some available. This was uh, came with paper pumpkin last month. And then I put together 30 day gratitude challenge prompt. And so today is movie. We're on day eight. And so I'm just writing. You get all these stickers and whatnot. So today I wrote about, oh, that was yesterday. Alice in Wonder. You know what? Oh my gosh. I think that, I think I skipped a day. Oh, I'm all off. Well, I probably confuse people. Doesn't matter. I wrote about write about a movie you're grateful for, and it was Alice in Wonderland. And I love um, one of her quotes. I've sometimes believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. So um, anyway, you know what? I probably confused you guys. I skipped a day. Well, that's what you're gonna get when you get me. I'm super creative, and I try to be structured, but sometimes I sometimes I skip a day. So. Um, and by creative, I'm not saying it's great creativity. I'm just saying my mind goes every which way. So here's that I'm thankful and I am thankful. I'm very, very thankful. And there, I mean, to write it, to spend time in gratitude. 
it's just such a peaceful thing. It's just, I, it's really, I think it's making a night and day difference. Um, I've been in such a good mood since I've been, you know, feeling better, but I think that writing about gratitude every day is really helping that too. Okay. So, um, so I'm also popping this guy on a dimensional and I'm leaving room for that stem. So I've got my two dimensionals like that. And I, sometimes I double it up because there's double, double, but I'm not, I'm just doing a single. And the way that it's kind of placed is it's covering the stem. It's centered on the circle. It tucks under the leaf a little bit and fits perfectly right there. Then we've got a few little copper gems. These are from the neutrals sequence adhesives. Sadly, these neutral sequence adhesives are temporarily unavailable, but when they come back, I really recommend that you get them because I can't believe how much I'm using them. They're just um, copper and gold and like a dark copper. So um, quite, quite love them. Oh, and then let's put a little stamp on the inside. Here we go. There's a little stamp on the inside. I might would have done the white first, but I don't care. You could stamp off or not stamp off. That's our Lost Lagoon, super pretty color. You could also do it in Pretty Peacock. And there you go. That's our I'm Thankful card. Super pretty. Perfect for Thanksgiving. Perfect for just telling somebody you're thankful for them. It's just a great little card. So that's that guy, and that was using Autumn Leaves bundle if I didn't talk about that totally available oxidized copper totally available distress tile totally available it's just the kind of other designer series paper that came and went so and then it came and went and then I think it's coming one more time so there we have it that's that card and let's move on to this next one so this simply stamping you get two that are kind of all occasion you could put birthday thank you whatever you get two that are kind of thankful because that's the season and then we're still like working our way towards Christmas so we've got two uh, I called it a Noel needle card so we've got two Noel needle cards and guess where I got this idea from some of you know does anybody know guess where I got it from I will tell you I got it out of the annual out of the mini catalog straight out of the mini catalog <laughs> 100%. It was straight out of the mini catalog. Perfect. So when you get this kit, I mean, they used to call it idea book and catalog, right? Well, the annual anyway. Um, so it is an idea book, right? I mean, they have um, the end matters, by the way, the end goes a certain direction. So when you, if you get this kit, you get these ingredients, you get the Noel, which I keep using over and over again because I love it. Um, it goes, there's a bundle, the joy of Noel. So like if you were to stamp that Noel and then use the die cuts, you could get exactly those letters. I didn't stamp it. I just used it on a designer series paper, but um, you could do that either way. I love this Noel. So I keep using it over and over again. Um, and we're gonna use the joyous. So that's a bundle, but when you get the kit, you get these ingredients um and if you don't have exactly joy of noel um or christmas classics with the pine cone with the pine needles i think we come out with needles all the time right so you probably have one from a past year um you could add maybe some other kinds of leaves in there so uh, make it your own so i'm going to put my card base off to the side that's a basic white thick again you're getting two of them I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put my Noel off to the side. I'll show you my tip. I'm making swap cards with this Noel, so I've die cut it like 21 times. Holy cow, but I figured out an optimal way to do it. Um, but that's a lot of Noels. <laughs> so I'm going to put my stamp and pierce mat underneath because I'm going to be doing this needle a lot. So let me get this here. Let me get that centered. And let me get, I did the note, I did the needle in two different colors old olive which we haven't brought out for a while and shaded spruce 
which is Valerie's absolute favorite color on earth. I know that. I'm kidding. I like to tease Valerie. It is not. But um, maybe she'll fall in love with it. I've been using it a lot. So anyway, I'm just teasing. So the needle, I'm just going to go through with Old Olive all in the background. And then I'm going to go with Shaded Spruce. And I'm doing it on a bit of an angle. And I'm kind of doing like a pattern like this. My old olive, by the way, um, I just need to spend some time re-inking because I can tell all my colors. So um, so now see how that's the tip. Now I've moved it up. So I'm just kind of rotating my pattern a little bit and leaving white space so I can come in with a shaded spruce. So I'm just kind of mixing up the pattern. Nobody's really going to study it at all, but I'm leaving white space to come in with the shaded spruce. I might come back with a little more old olive, but I'm going to clean it up first so I don't contaminate between color to color. Now, I will say I do start with the lighter color in the event I make a mistake and I do forget to clean it or there's any residue. Uh, I start with the lighter color and then I go to the darker color because for sure if I stamped shaded spruce and then had some on and went back to old olive, I would like be stamping this into the old olive. I don't want to do that, but I'm going to come in now with my shaded spruce. And then isn't this just a pretty effect? It's so, and you know what? I love cards where we stamp. It's so peaceful. It's just really, really peaceful to just kind of come in and stamp a lot. So I feel like we need a little bit of spruce over here and that's it, you guys. So you would do it on both of your cards, right? So often I would take both my cards out at the same time. And I like to do kind of batch, um, actually love to do batch where I do a bunch of them at once, but um, not today. Now I've got my Joyous Noel and it's the first time that it happened and I'm surprised because I always do it, but I opened the pad and I got my finger in it. So let me get that all cleaned up. So this is Joyous. What is Joyous is that it's a clear stamp. So when I go to place it, I mean, there's a difference. They stamp differently, and I think they might last differently, but I do love a good clear stamp. So I'm going to come down, and I'm going to put my Joyous in real red right there. You can put any message. You could leave just the Noel. Um, so that's that guy. And now we're going to place the no Well, we're going to glue it on. I'm cleaning up my, call it doing the dishes. I'm cleaning up my stamps. We're going to put it on the card front and then we're going to place our Noel. So I'm making sure my fingers are clean because I'm going to be handling this a lot. So I'm just kind of wiping them off on my jeans. I love white on white. This is also a look I learned from my sister Doris. Well, of course, then in the catalog, but I love, 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 love a white on white layer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make sure I've got my layer the right way because we know, we know we can put it on upside down, don't we? I'm gonna go ahead and place that there and I'm gonna get it good. And Now I did, it's easy to get a little boo-boo on white and then I've taken some little red rhinestones or I've taken like the basic rhinestones and kind of colored them red with my alcohol marker, right? So I've taken it just a basic rhinestone and colored it in red. Um, that's if I happen to get a little boo-boo. This is staying so pristine. We're going to hope for the best that it doesn't get any little anything on it. And then I sure hope I've got some mini dimensionals because that's the only answer to doing this. So I'm turning my Noel upside down. The end matters. I think I made some cards where I had the end facing the wrong way, but the serif goes right there or whatever the word is. So the end matters for when we put it on. And then I'm going to take my little Stampin' Dimensionals. Darn it all, Leela. I've been working in so many different rooms. Well, this matters with little dimensionals, so we're going to make little dimensionals because it matters. So pretend you've got your little dimensionals. We will just make our own, and I'll show you where I placed them. So let's see if this is going to be thin enough. So... Pretending you've got your little dimensionals. Is that going to fit? I'm going to call it good. It fits a lot better with the little dimensionals, but it does. So 
I put it on the L right in the middle. I put it on the E. Oh, this will be better. I put it on the E right in the middle. Actually, it's kind of working with these bigger ones because it covers more space. So that's good. So with the little dimensionals, I put them on the side um, so that they fit perfectly. And I just put one there, one there. It's perfectly fine. It stays perfectly fine. With the O and with the N, I give it a little more structure. So with the O, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put it on the other side. So adhesives, it's great to have mini Stampin' Dimensionals, regular size Stampin' Dimensionals. It's great to have, well, glue or, or tape runner, whichever you prefer. I actually do use both, although I prefer glue. Um, and then it's good to have tear and tape. We really do use all the different adhesives for different purposes. Okay, so the two O's on this side. And then how I did, so pretending you've got your little dimensionals, I put one right there and then another one right there so that the end is really supported. This guy's a little too big. I'm sorry, you guys, I brought all my minis. I'm making 21 of these. And so I brought them out in the other room where I'm watching TV at night. So that's, that's that story but okay so you can see it's a little fussy but then you're gonna get a look where um like you can't see them right you want them on that they're not going anywhere and but you can't see them poking out here's the next trick about these and i've done it both ways and i'm here to tell you you can start on the left and you can think you're doing fine but don't do it because you're gonna unless you're perfect you know what, you might be better at this. I started at the left, I thought I had plenty of room, and the next thing I know, my L was off the page anyway. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna start with my L here. And this is just a tip about letters anyway. Um, I'll show you another one where I started in the middle and then built myself out both ways. So sometimes I start at the left, Sometimes I start at the right and sometimes I start at the middle. Um, but in this case, I'm starting at the right and I'm just trying to eyeball it. So um, I don't know. I don't think the O matters. I don't think the O has a directionality. And then the N, I told you it does. It's got that little serif in the upper corner. So let's make sure we've got that right. And I'm leaving like maybe this, maybe about a quarter of an inch between each one, but the same amount of space between each. You guys, that's it. There's our Joya, Joya Noel. So super pretty Christmas card. Just great to send. That's going to be an extra little postage too. And then on the topic of doing letters, do I have it right here? So yeah. So I was doing... You guys know, some of you guys may know I'm a coach, so I do a class. And um, this is my word for the year. I'm trying to build like really good systems. But, um, and these letters, we have these letters, they're available now. When I wanted to put this word on, I started in the middle. So I measured, I found the center, and then I put, I counted like three letters going that way, three letters going that way. So I put my letter there, and then I, I, um, I kind of laid it out before I glued everything and adhered everything, but I worked my way out one at a time. Or sometimes I put it here and then here, and then I kind of center it and center it. So I'm sharing all this because you may be in a position to place letters, and um, I've, I love placing letters, and I've been able to do it a lot, and those are some tips that I've learned. So I'm sharing them with you. So you guys, that's our Simply Stamping today. You get two of those, two of those, two of those in your kit. And what I would share is free shipping is still going on today. I don't know where the third one went. Yeah, here. Um, free shipping is still going on today. And so if you, not valid with any other Lila offer, if you make a purchase from me, you get this kit absolutely free. If you want to, you can purchase this kit. And I have all that information 
on YouTube. I'll link it below. If you guys are on here, um, I'll share it with you when I stop the recording. So, uh, so there you have it, you guys. Any questions before I shut off the recording? No, they're beautiful. Yay! I'm so glad you're here. Well, awesome. Well, All right, look forward to getting it. Yep. Yay! I'm gonna stop the recording and then I'll come back to you guys.